you have a, just have a little discussion on public authority, where we are paying, public authority is just exclusively us paying ourselves for city use. Okay? And then what is, you know, is that, is that the accepted thing that you do, you pay for, for your own power, or, I'll tell you, let me see. I'll tell you what, this, this is the answer to that question. The answer to that question is, Lakeview is way ahead of the game by actually paying anything, okay? There's a lot of util, I mean, the, the majority is not to pay, you know, anything either on street lights or all kinds of stuff. And so what I always say, if you're going to do that, at least meter the thing so you can see what's being transferred from the electric utility to the general fund for those services. So you can at least say, we've transferred $30,000 worth of street lighting to the, to the general fund. At least you... Even if they don't bill it, they get a mock bill and can see the value. Because if you don't do that, then you can't make financial decisions. If this was on public authority, why would you ever upgrade the lightings to a more efficient lighting if you're not paying a bill on it? There's no financial incentives. There's no price signals to do any of those kind of improvements. Now, that said, the other end of the spectrum is, in a perfect world, we would say public authority buildings should just be billed on the commercial rate. Now, if we did that, you guys would be way outside of that 17.9%. You guys would be, you know, that, that might be a, you know, that might be a 50, 60, 70% increase. So, we're not recommending that, but what we're recommending is that is the end game. There are some towns that actually just build up, bill on the general service or commercial rate for municipal buildings. And uh, that's a decision Lakeview has to make for themselves. That would be an ultimate recommendation by NMPP Energy because we're strictly kind of by the book and that's, the recommendations we make and that's what we feel is the proper way to do things. Well, you don't have to do it in one year. So essentially what I'm saying is with that window, the public authority would most likely see a 17.9% increase because they're small enough that I could give that 17.9% increase and it wouldn't swing the other classes very far. Now if you're really looking at it, that extra 3% on $40,000 is not an enormous amount of money for that annual, for that annual. but the point is you're giving them some time to to, to phase that in um, and put and, and move towards that, and so they can start to budget for that. And so maybe in 10, 15 years, maybe we're at the recommendation where we say let's just move the public authority to the commercial class. And like I said, if it's if the money's not paid, fine. At least have a bill so you can say the accounting's there and says you know we gave. Twenty thousand dollars worth of street lights because there should be a there should be some sort of transfer for to the general fund because you essentially are operating a business within the city limits. You call it in lieu of tax <coughs> payment in, pilots payment in lieu of tax transfer to the general fund occupation tax they all have the same name and mean this, or different names and mean the same thing. So some towns don't even meter like they don't even meter nope. this building they don't meter the fire station or the wells or nothing. And so our specific recommendation there is meter it. Start metering it. I don't care if one dollar changes hands. Meter it. You don't know, exactly, you don't know if you've got a major problem. You got, I mean, so you're already, again, way ahead of the game. Possibly, ultimately, 10, 20 years down the road, we'll be, might be at that. Let's just move them to the commercial. Right now, that's what that window is for, is to maybe give them a little larger increase. Mm -hmm.